guys, I hecked up. I hecked up bad. I got the biggest box that I've ever gotten in my P.O. box. And I got curious. And I opened it. And I saw it was a space heater. And then I had people over for a jam sesh. And it got cold. <laughs> Then I opened it up without even knowing it for Alpha Male. <clears throat> so anyway, sorry whoever sent this thing, there was no name. Uh, but thanks a lot for it, it actually helped a lot. So anyways, coming to you live from the completely unnecessary but obligatory apology at the beginning of every single video that I make. Uh, welcome to the, oh geez, uh, I think it's like the 12th ever episode of Alpha Male where I open up all the mail that you guys have sent to me. Here's a big giant surprise, we're actually only going to do packages today because according to the analytics, you guys don't really like when I open up letters. There's a major viewership drop off, <laughs> so we're going to be doing this type of fun stuff today. This one is from Nathan Curtis. Eh. Oh snap. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Yup. Nailed it. Kids, you're gonna learn what this is when you're older. Dear Zed Not Alpha Productions, hey there, Eli, I've been watching your videos for a while now and I really like them. <coughs> Good. It is very nice to have an interesting channel to watch without any cursing or dirty joke. Guys, this is a slingshot, okay? You put a put a thing in there. Like here, I've got a penny. I can just waste pennies like this. I've had so much success on YouTube, I can just throw money away like this. And then you hold it like this and you just shoot it. It's really good actually. That this is that's what I meant when I said you'll know when you're older because it's a uh, slingshot, so it's uh, dangerous and I didn't want to um, expose kids to that, you know. Not very YouTubers can truthfully say they have a Christian channel. You do a great job for making great things while keeping your content clean. I'm, I very much respect that. I would love to be able to build some of these amazing weapons and armor like the Sawblade Battle Axe, the Steel Riot Armor, the Samurai Bracers, but I live in a poor little town that has a single tiny hardware store and other hardware store places in town. That's a pretty tough break, dude, but there are not many places Amazon can't reach, so I would definitely suggest hopping online and trying to find all the stuff that you need. Anyway, I love your videos. I wish I could meet you. You're one of the coolest YouTubers I know of. It is surprising that you don't have more subscribers than you do. You really do make some great content. <coughs> Sincerely, Nathan Curtis. Nathan Curtis, I really appreciate the letter. I definitely appreciate the Sour Patch Kids. Sorry to have shattered your image of me within a few seconds. <laughs> the first thing I notice here is perishable. Good thing it's only been out here for a couple of months. Whoa. Guys, I pride myself with saying that I've actually been doing a pretty good job with the weight loss. I still got a little chub, but it's like, it's like that animal fat, you know? It's like that stuff that's not too bad to have. Well, you guys are definitely gonna ruin me. You spoil me, you truly do. Oh, this one's from Clay Hayes. Got some pictures. Ooh, 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 dang. Hopefully with my fancy pants new 4K camera, you guys can see this. I can't really find my little handheld camera right now, but he made some like totally solid steel bracers. Those are cool as heck. This is an ax in progress. I assume he's going to wrap these straps around the handle, put the bolts through the metal and the straps. A super nice homemade knife. Again, some solid hand protection. This looks like some sort of treated leather, probably wax dipped or something. Got a really nice archery target. I assume it's foam and one heck of a steel breastplate right there. That's some quality stuff, Clay. Oh, I could have guessed he was gonna do something like this. He's actually not wrapping both straps around the steel. He's doing sort of like what I did with the tomahawk where you've got two straps and they just go over the handle one time, except he's actually gonna leave the part that runs off here so that the end of the strap becomes like a spike. Then it says forge weld right here. I guess he's gonna heat up the end and hammer the two pieces together. And yeah, just use the hex bolts like I sort of said a minute ago. Solid plan, dude. I gotta expedite this reading process a little bit. Hello, Eli. My name's Clay. I'm a 24-year-old paramedic from Alabama. I've been watching your videos for weeks now and you really have inspired me to be creative. Your funny antics and simple explanations are welcome among <laughs> are a welcome sight amongst all the boring and uninformative trash on YouTube. Oh, jeez. Pretty heavy, Clay. I built several items of my own and some of yours. PVC bow is tight, son. Included with this letter are a few photos of projects, the gifts to show my appreciation for you and your work. I plan on making my own YouTube channel and I hope for a future collaboration the likes of which the world has never seen. I wonder who you're gonna do that with. Not like I would never collab with you, I just mean like I've ne I don't think I really make stuff that, you know, the world never seen. But thanks, Clay, I appreciate it. Dang, this one's heavy. Whoa, there's some metal in here. This is from Jangle King. What is this, a Christmas package? Nah, I could just rip this. I'm a tough guy. Ugh. 
<laughs> Ooh, this seems very similar to that one Hitler Youth knife that I got a while ago. It's like some plastic construction, but that knife was seriously sharp that I got. See how this one stacks up? Oh, whoa, that's spooky. That looks sharp as heck, dude. Paper test, I think. Oh my, I don't know if I trust myself with this, dude. This may be the sharpest knife I ever got. Oh my gosh. I'm keeping this in a safe place away from society. All right, and we got some railroad spikes. And we got a letter. Saw these spikes and thought maybe you could use them. Also, you can always use another mor mora. It's a mora. Can't even tell what that last letter is. Mora niv. Mora nil. Mora something though, that's what he's talking about. And it's such a scary knife. Thanks, James. I appreciate it a lot. I feel so bad when I see that people ship these things like two day priority and stuff. And <laughs> it's just been sitting out here for like a few months. I started the joke, now I'm committed to this. This is from Smart Station. What? Smart Station Road. <laughs> This is probably not good anymore. Oh, ugh. smells okay. I hope to hacking gosh, this is like Shrek edition or something. Yeah, it's it smells all right, but um, thanks. All right, and we've got jerky, I think. I hope this isn't another Twinkie. Twinkie jerky, I'm just kidding. Homemade barbecue beef jerky. Smells like. I've seen people make jerky in some really weird ways where they're like, throw it out up on a tree out in the middle of the forest and stuff. I do hope that's not how this was made. It's good though. It says, not drugs, candy. I don't even know what I would do if somebody actually did send me a bunch of drugs. I'd probably donate it to charity. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> what the? Oh. Aw, oh, man. I mean, it's candy. It's candy. There's no way I'm not gonna like it. It's just, it's two candies taped together. And I saw this thing, and it was all full of the blue things. And I saw this, and I thought it was like a special Sour Patch Kids that only had the blue pieces, which are my favorite, by the way. Not disappointed. I love I love all Sour Patch Kids equally. Red and yellow, black and white. They both say, try me now. I've already had these Exploder ones. They're pretty good. I actually like the flavor of them more than regular Sour Patch Kids. But I think I'll actually try these ones out right now. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, it's a foot. Why it's got one toe. It's really cold. It's really hard. And it's really good. I'll talk to you later. Greetings, dear Eli. My name is Tommy Carpenter. I'm 14 years old. I used to be a weapon maker like you until I- <laughs> That's like not even ironically funny anymore. I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna read this letter, but it's hard to recover from that says, I'm just kidding. I really hope you got that reference. If you didn't, I'm severely disappointed. He really, th he really hopes that I got, um, that I understood the, uh, the took an arrow to the knee reference. It is a pretty obscure game, you know, Skyrim. It's not, it's not like one of those big brand games that everybody was playing. Yeah, I got, I got the reference, Tommy. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm just playing Tommy, you know I love you. Ugh, the combination of like this hot air blowing on my face and then when I sit up, then it's like cold air right here is just drying the heck out of my eyes. When I found out you were a Christian, I thought it was so cool. That just made watching your videos better. Plus you never say any curse words so I can watch your videos with my siblings who are younger than me. I've made a few things. I also tried blacksmithing, but I failed because I don't have an anvil. You make some of the best content I've ever seen and your personality is the best part of all your videos. You may say that you don't make good things, but you do. You make some great things. You rock, dude. I appreciate that a lot, Tommy. I guess these are some weapon ideas. He's got a uh, water balloon filled with lemon, citric acid, and glass shards. I gotta imagine the glass would pop the balloon, but I guess the idea is it the glass cuts you when you throw a balloon at somebody and they get lemon juice in their cuts. That would not feel good. He's got this actually really cool looking mace where it's got these dull blades on the top, like flanges on a mace, and then down here it's got sharp blades. <laughs> and then down here it says potato paracord wrap. That's an oldie but goodie, huh? Let me know if you get that reference. It's got ideas for different slingshot loads, like a ball with nails on it, a steel ball that you heat up with a blowtorch. I'm not really sure how you would put that into the, the pouch without burning yourself. Might want to plan that out a little bit. And an actually really cool knife right there. Well, thanks a ton for the package, Tommy. It was really good. Ooh. This one's from Matthew Stariha. Stariha. It says, important, please open on alpha male. I'm not like trying to be mean or anything, but there's a lot of a lot of people who want their packages open on alpha mail. I'm, I'm opening this one definitely, but oh shoot, that was close. 
Dear Eli, my name is Matthew Steria, that H is silent. I live in Wetumpka, Alabama. I've been watching your videos since September of 2016 with my younger brother Mark, and I've loved all of them. Well, maybe not all of them. How do you gotta say that, man? I've always wanted to make weapons, but was never mature enough to be trusted with them till a few years ago. I'm 18 and my brother's 14. We love your humor, especially your commitment to your faith. Our family is also Christian and I struggle with my faith every day, but you're a great example for me to have. I run a small business in which I make custom paracord bracelets and gun slings, as well as making knives. The paracord bracelet is my own modification of a design I saw another YouTuber do. I call it the Zednot Twisted Sanctified Cuff. Yours is a little different from the others I hope to produce. Please say your wrist size on alpha male. It will make stuff a lot easier instead of guessing. This looks about right though. Shoot, this thing's thick, boy. It's super cool, but it's like really big, dude. Not like the size. The size is good. It's like, it's just like thick as heck. It looks cool as heck. It's just, it seems a little, little, little girthy. <laughs> Why did I use that word? No, dude, it's super cool. I could probably clip this on my backpack and, you know, you know, paracord bracelets. That's nice, dude. That's real nice. Of course, you gotta get the goods. Got a uh, rubber bracelet. The band my dad is in, he plays drums, and I'm making him a cone. Altisana. Definitely a little bit more manageable, no offense. <laughs> it's a little baby knife. That's cool. It's like two laminated halves for the handle. That's pretty cool. I wish there was like a little sheath or something. Kind of stick it in my pocket, you know? This would actually be a super good alpha male knife, though. For cutting tape and stuff. Maybe next time when I'm not committed to this stupid joke. <laughs> and more side patch, kid. Thanks a ton for the package, Matt. <laughs> Here's a, another uh, package. Ooh, <laughs> what the heck, it's a, it's a little feminine. I have been described the same way. Uh, ooh, <laughs> yeah, definitely wearing this all the time. A good look for me, I think. Got a sick resealable bag of Sour Patch Kids, baby. And we got a letter to ZNA Productions. <gasps> That's me. Dang, <laughs> they like went all out. Dear Eli, your vids make me happy. I'm 18 and have made three weapons from your how-tos. The boot mod, the psycho tomahawk, and the hedge clipper knives. They're not as good as yours, but they will work if the zeds come. Keep making videos and weapons till you die, please. <laughs> like, like in a good way? From Nick. Thanks, Nick. Got some, I don't know. What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? No, it says buddy fight. Ooh, sick. <laughs> Ew! my man Pootie, baby. Oh, jeez. Very liberal estimate of how big my head is with this fishing line, but I'll definitely use this all the time. Is that the second time I made that joke with this package? Sorry. Drop it. This is already my favorite package. Oh, that one's a little spookier. <laughs> Only a little. At least zombies didn't hack the election. What the heck? <laughs> Got a wooden knife. I guess. A uh, carabiner. A baby carabiner. Some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Some, uh, type of thing. <laughs> and a bunch of lead. Final part of the package. Uh-oh. Plastic chili. <laughs> nice. Attack deck. Some little scissors. That's cool. How do I open this? Man, heck this joke. I'm tired of it. Okay. Dice. I don't know, dude. Is there something I'm not getting? I'm confused. That's cool. Sorry, I don't really know how to react to this. I appreciate the thought, though. This is a lot of stuff. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. This one is from Discount Craft Shop. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my teeth. I've been training for this. <laughs> no one man should have all this power. That's ridiculous. What is this? The bag that they use to fill up other bags of Sour Patch Kids? Oh my gosh. Just an invoice. There's no letter with this. Thanks, Discount Craft Shop. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Oh, shoot. I thought that was the shipping label, but I think it's actually an envelope that it's sliced in half. that was instructions do not stab read letter put the fur on the wall read zombie survival guide please write me back at uh, i don't know if i could do all that Ooh, i got a chill so it's like cured and stuff or whatever you want to call that treated is like it kind of gave me a morbid feeling for a second there okay put the fur on the wall why got like an entire actual zombie survival guide book with holographic boy on the front he looks like his name would be like kyler or something okay we've got stuffing from a shoe two two actually wow Sh shoe stuffing dude 
A lot of shoe stuffings. Probably the most shoe stuffings I ever got in one package. Hello, Eli. Sorry if my handwriting sucks. Well, hopefully you enjoy what's in the package. Your channel is one thing that I'm thankful for. You gave me a penny for the house that I'm saving up for. Aight, aight. Uh, some tissues. I don't think I can read this entire thing right now, dude, but I'll save it. Appreciate it, Marcus. This fur is pretty warm, too. These kahunas are debatably similar in size, so by weight, I'm gonna go with this one first. <laughs> Aw, got a little baby space heater. It says, no, it's not new, but close. P.S. Don't burn your house down. Got a big ol' roll of duct tape. Thank you very much. Sheesh, a 32-piece bit wrench set. Oh, what the heck? I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a tiny little ratchet for drill bits. Definitely a lot more effective than carrying around like a drill on your person at all times. That's pretty cool. Some paracords, say. A splitter, I could always use these. Says, I watched your vlog on how you film your videos. This might come in handy for plugging in your various lights and such. Absolutely. Some sour patch boys. And a bit of Harambe's finest. Dear Eli, I'm not sure if you're still doing alpha mail, but I figured I'd send you something. It helps in the garage for those cold Illinois nights. Anyways, I'm 25 years old, and even though I'm a little older than your average audience member, I still enjoy your channel. It's been cool to watch you and your channel grow and evolve into what it is today. I've only been subscribed for about six months, but I can tell you care about having an interesting and quality product. God bless you, your brother in Christ, Travis. Hebrews 12, 1-3. through 3. That's some prime quality Bible right there, Travis. I appreciate that. Now on to the biggest kahuna of all the kahunas. The weight is like so weird it's like top heavy but in the side what what the heck why do you guys keep sending me laptops <laughs> oh my gosh this one's actually super nice oh geez Oh my god. Ooh, a little two gig memory card. Let's see what you have to say for yourself. Eli, feel free to show or omit whatever you deem fit. I deem myself fit, boy. I was watching your collaboration video when you said you had more than your fair share of laptop issues. I've had this laptop with the intention of refurbishing it for a while now. When you mentioned the laptop breaking on you, I decided the time is now. Well, unfortunately, that was quite some time ago. Since then, I've actually gotten a new laptop that's like... And I also got a new desktop. I'll show that to you guys if you guys want to see that. I've replaced the hard drive, the RAM, and the keyboard on this laptop and tested it to be sure that it would hold up well. That's actually super impressive. I thought laptops were really hard to work on in that way. I hope to send you a better computer once Christmas has passed and the money is available. What, like next year? How old is this package? What the heck? I hope I haven't had this out here that long. It has been a while though. Sheesh. Sorry, Joe. Thank you for all your hard work and the very entertaining videos. Sincerely, Joseph C. Arnold, the fourth iv is the fourth right yeah because in oblivion when you start up oblivion it goes iv and then it zooms out and it turns into um elder scrolls oblivion that's how i remember what four is well thanks a ton joe i'll definitely find something i could do with this well it was another awesome episode of alpha male i think uh that's a, oh what's this a package not actually from somebody just one that was given to me by a very close friend apparently this is like super good or something and i should be really looking forward to it so here's how we're ending off the episode <laughs> very large box for a very small thing <laughs> Why do you do these things? <laughs> some some unbelievably sexy glamour shots of my good good friend Leah's dad. Me and this guy grew up together when we were little kids. We used to mess around and do stuff like this all the time. This is actually an inside joke between me and Ken. When we were kids, we used to like pose for pictures like this and act like we we're models and everything. It was good times, good times. I, I miss being a kid. This is great. I'm pretty sure there's a nice spot on my wall blanket for this excellent excellent thanks a ton for these leah appreciate it love you and uh well some coconut milk that's cool i like that you put three pieces of paper in a box well sheesh that was a good way to end this alpha male i can't remember if this is 12th or 13th or whatever but they're all good they're all good to me but anyways guys if you ever want to send me some mail go ahead and send it to p.o box 1082 west chicago illinois 60186
You don't have to send me packages and stuff, you can just send letters. I do read all of my mail, but sending packages is the best way to get something onto the show. Even still though, I can't guarantee everything gets on there, but I'll do my best. Thanks again guys for another awesome episode, I appreciate it very much. But that's about all I got for today, so thank you all very much for watching, I'll talk to you later.